Good morning. I am going to bring you along on a what I eat in two days video again. Today is a lean day. If you don't know what I'm talking about as far as lean days, uh, I will put a link to the video where I explain my whole strategy of what I'm doing right now. But since it's a lean day, I am starting my day off with a cup of coffee with only one tablespoon of cream. We are headed off to our weekly hike with our homeschool group and been rushing around all morning trying to get everything ready to go. Um, and I didn't have time to sit down and eat. So I will show you what I grabbed. I bet you guys can guess. Of course, I filled up my electrolytes. I did uh, citrus salt today. And I know you guys guessed it. I have some carnivore crisps, chicken breast. These are great for lean days. Very, very low in fat. One and a half grams of fat per serving, five servings per big bag. I am just going to munch on these while we drive. Being able to have something that you can eat while you drive easily without making a mess um, is a good thing. Oh no. They're so pretty. More. More, more camas. What, what do you think, Levi? You like this hike? Yeah. Ooh, is there a little, a little secret path over there? All right, we got to keep moving here. What are you drawing? The mushrooms that were back at the path. They were all clumped together like that. Oh, cute. Very cool. We're home from our hike, and I see a package here on the porch that I want to show you guys. I think it's for me. No, it's for me. So you can see it says the bright angle. So story time. When I was in Texas, I got to hang out with my sister and she does social media management um, as a job, which is really crazy and cool because she gets to work from home and she gets to travel all the time and do a lot of, you know, a lot of work online. But while I was at her house, she showed me these really cool porcelain products that are from a company that she works with or works for. And um, she was like, hey, we should get you set up as an affiliate with them and get some samples sent out. And I loved the look of the products. It just they were absolutely gorgeous. So I was like, absolutely sign me up. So this is from them. And I really want to show you what I got. Uh, they did give me a coupon code. So definitely check out all of their beautiful products. And um, I'll put the coupon code on the screen and down in the description. But look... Look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? I just love the colors. Anyways, you, you gotta like peruse their um, website. They just have the most beautiful things. Anyways, let me show you what they sent me. Apparently this is one of their most popular products. Oh my goodness. It's an olive oil container, and on the box here is the, the spout. So this goes in here like that, and then this pops off. And so you can, you know, drizzle your olive oil on your salad or whatever. I'm thinking I might use it for um, avocado oil because I keep that by my stove all the time. And I'm always, you know, wanting to get a little bit into the pan. And this would be so much more pretty by my stove than the plastic Costco uh, avocado oil bottle. I'm absolutely loving it. You are going to be seeing this in my kitchen, you know, from now on probably. And I will be talking more about these beautiful products. But anyways, if you're interested, I will put all the info down in the description. I have not made meat bars in a while, but today is the day. Um, I had this package of ground chicken that um, is pretty low in fat so i'm going to cook these up in my air fryer all i do is use a knife and slice into like six bar shapes and then throw it in the air fryer for about seven minutes i think i'm gonna season with the uh, redmond seasoned salt and then i'm just gonna separate the six little bars here I'm gonna do 400, I think I'm just gonna do seven minutes. So this is a full pound of chicken, one pound before cooking, of course. And I am just gonna eat as much as I need. I don't know if I will eat it all. 
we shall see. Um, I'm going to add some of my garnish here. It's just red onion, green onion, and cilantro just to make things exciting. Give it a little color. And then I think I'm going to get some of the zero sugar barbecue sauce as well um, for dipping. Somehow this lunch turned out looking really, really fancy. Um, it's simple, but it's going to be delicious. I just finished my lunch and I did end up eating all of those chicken bars. I was pretty hungry. The um, My breakfast of carnivore crisps was pretty minimal. So um, I really needed that. And now I am having another cup of coffee, afternoon cup of coffee. Okay, for dinner, let's see, it's getting close to 6.30 now and um, getting ready for dinner. I had some of these mahi-mahi fillets in the freezer. So I am getting those defrosted and I am going to make some breaded chicken finger, chicken fingers, breaded fish fingers with those or fish sticks. Um, and I'm going to use my protein breading. And I thought for seasoning, I would use my dill pickle seasoning that I got at Costco the other day. I thought, you know, uh, tartar sauce has pickles in it that goes with fish so why wouldn't dill pickle seasoning go good in the breading we shall see are they done they look done look crispy you have had fish before yeah and you liked it yeah you did because remember it was the one that dad caught and you liked it with lemon on it what is it it's just fish. It's delicious. No, no I kind of it. It, I think it was trout. And um, is that one a trout too? No, this is mahi mahi. I don't like that. You don't have to try it. And this one has eggs on it, so you can't try it anyway. Yeah. Yeah. All right, here is my dinner. I have six little fish fingers, breaded, crunchy. And then this is just one serving of the 2% Faye Greek yogurt. And yes, I do like to eat, just eat it plain. I love, you know, keto chow in it or equip protein, different things like that, but I also like it plain. So sometimes, and since I already had plenty of protein from this um, and I didn't want to add fat with like an MCT oil powder, just having it plain. So it is the next morning now and let's go over my calories, macros, and blood sugar data for yesterday, my lean day. So yesterday I had a total of 1,237 calories. I got 179.3 grams of protein. That was 60.5% of my calories. I got 44 grams of fat. That was 33.4% of my calories. And I got 17.9 total carbs. And then I had zero fiber. So I also had 17.9 net carbs. Here is my blood sugar data from yesterday. Uh, as you can see, my sensor is expired now. So I do have my blood sugar data for my lean day, but I will not have it for my regular day today, unfortunately, but we'll go over this real quick. My Fitbit imported my exercise, which was the hike we went on. Um, and then for breakfast, the carnivore crisp meal, which was, it was very minimal. I ate two servings, which I think was maybe 120 calories or something like that. It was very, very minimal, but I got a score of 10 on that one. Started with a blood sugar of 92, ended with a blood sugar of 86 two hours later. Then for lunch, the chicken bars with barbecue sauce, I started with a blood sugar of 77, peaked at 81, and ended two hours later with a blood sugar of 80. So got a score of 10 on that one. And dinner was the fish with the Greek yogurt for dessert. Started with a blood sugar of 80, peaked at 83, and ended with a blood sugar of 82 two hours later. So again, a solid 10 on that one. My average blood sugar for the day you can see here is 76, which is fantastic for me. I am very happy with what I've seen as far as average blood sugar on my uh, lean days also on my higher fat days, but I was more curious about what it would look like on my lean days, having so much protein. Like you saw, I had 179 grams of protein today, uh, but I was still able to get scores of 10 on all of my meals. And then an average blood sugar of 76 is pretty good. I, I, I wouldn't hope for much better than that. So I've just been really, really happy to see that my blood sugar is responding well, because I already knew that my body felt good doing the lean days and it's a way that I can release weight. But if I saw my blood sugar spiking from so much protein, I would be a little bit worried. Uh, but seeing this data makes me not worried at all.
Good morning. We are doing a regular eating day today. And sadly, I was out of heavy cream this morning. I need to go to the store today. Um, so I am having my coffee with half and half, which is still good. But I do prefer cream. Okay, I waited probably a little bit too long to eat. I am pretty hungry. I went ahead and made a burger. I prepped these burger patties on my on one of my um, food prep videos. So I was able to fry one of those up real quick. I have a piece of Trader Joe's organic American cheese on there, some lettuce, some dill relish, and some zero sugar barbecue sauce. This one. And um, I have it on one of my butter buns that I also made in one of my food prep videos recently. And then kind of for dessert after that, I'm going to have the six ounces of uh, my homemade yogurt. It's made with half and half, so it has a lot of fat. And in it, I have one scoop of the chocolate prime protein. As of the day this video is going to be posted, there is just this one last day to get in on the special deal that I have going with Equip. I have a chocolate lovers deal that you guys can get it on um, if you get a bag of the Equip protein plus a bag of the chocolate collagen, you can get 20% off. It's just a real quick 72 hour sale and today is the last of that. So if you haven't gotten in on that, definitely check out the info in the description below. I am having another cup of coffee, afternoon coffee. And I'm having hot dogs. Yes, you are. Um, again with half and half because I still don't have any heavy cream, but we're about to head to um, take Renee to ballet and I'm going to go grocery shopping and Renee's friend Ruby and we're going to go grocery shopping while they're at ballet and so I will get, we will get bananas and we will get heavy cream, Yeah. right? Anything else we need? Milk. No, we already have milk. Um, I don't know. I don't know either. I think that's about it. I am about to walk out the door to take Renee to ballet, so I am mixing up electrolytes. I think I'm just going to do citrus salt this time. It's about 4.30 p.m. and I need to start cooking dinner, but I'm really hungry right now, so I don't want to try to wait until dinner's done. So I'm gonna have a little snack now and then um, pretty quickly follow it up with dinner in a little bit. So I'm having a cup of cottage cheese and a couple of pickles, which is a very refreshing snack on this hot, almost summer-like day. So at the store, I got some basil that was on reduced for like a dollar for this giant container. And I just did a search for some recipes and what looked good was basil chicken, like a creamy basil chicken with Parmesan. So I am going to defrost these chicken thighs and we're gonna attempt, you know, usually I don't follow recipes 100%, um, so, the recipe called for chicken breasts. I'll be using chicken thighs and I'm sure there will be other uh, changes that I will make, but I'll link to the original original recipe in the description and we'll see how it turns out. All right, I changed my mind. Um, I am gonna do a curry, a coconut chicken curry. I have this green curry paste that I'm gonna use. So I'm not following a recipe. I'm just gonna throw it together. Um, I decided curry sounded good and I've already had a lot of dairy today. so. The recipe I was looking at had lots of cream and lots of Parmesan cheese, and I decided to skip that um, and go with the creamy coconut milk instead. This is my basil. I also have some limes because I got limes on reduce. So it's like four or five limes for a dollar um, on the reduced rack. And so that'll be good to squeeze on top. I have some chopped uh, green onions and cilantro and... Um, red onions. I'll also cook some red onions in there, but that'll be good garnish. So anyways, I have a lot of stuff that will be good with coconut curry, basil, chicken.
Stand up. Try again. Take a bite. All right, I'm sitting outside throwing the ball for the dogs and I thought I would show you real quick how I add like a recipe to Carb Manager. So the way you get to the recipes, you go to add food and maybe there's an easier way to get there, but the way that I've found is to hit my food, my recipes, and then the create recipe button pops up. It seems like there should be an easy way to get the easier way to get there, but I haven't found it. So I'm just going to put the name in as basil, uh, basil, coconut, curry, and um, it made three servings. I ate a third, my husband ate a third, and there's a third left in the fridge for another day. And I'm gonna add the ingredients. First thing was chicken thighs. This is the listing at the top here that I used for raw chicken thigh meat. If I have something grilled and I weigh it grilled, then I will use the second one down here that says grilled or cooked. Um, and it was one pound, five ounces, so 21 ounces total. And then I did one whole bell pepper, red bell pepper, and we'll go to, it was probably medium, not 45 of them, just one. Okay. And then I had a red onion. I just had a half of a red onion and it was pretty small, a pretty small red onion. Small, 0.5 small red onion. And then I used some chicken broth, Kirkland, half a cup. So I just did 0.5 cups. And then I did the Aroy D coconut milk. And that container, I believe is 8.6 ounces. So I have 8.6 fluid ounces. I used the whole container. Green curry. All of their... Oh, there it is. All of their um, curry paste have about the same macros. So if I didn't see the the green one, I would have just added any of them. Um, one tablespoon, that's about how much I added. And then I had some ginger. That's not gonna add very much, but I'll go ahead and see if I can find it. All right, I think this is the one it was. Minced ginger, and I used maybe a tablespoon. Not a lot. All right, was that everything I put in there? I guess I used a little bit of bacon grease uh, at the beginning to cook the chicken. Probably a tablespoon. So 15 grams to a tablespoon about. And I think that's it. So there's all my ingredients. And up here it tells you the recipe total, um, 1,289 calories total, and then per serving, 430 calories and 6.1 carbs. So I am going to save that. Don't need to categorize it. And then I had one serving, so I am adding that to my meal number three. And that's it. Now you can see it down here in my meals. And that is how you add a recipe to Carb Manager. I don't know if you guys noticed on my um, carb manager, my calories are coming in really low for today. And this is such an unusual problem for me. Usually I'm the person that has to work to not get them so high. Anyways, I think I could have been fine just going to bed and being done for the evening, but my calories were only at 1500 and I, since it's a regular day, I wanted to get them higher than that. So I am going to have one of my chocolate peanut butter cupcakes with extra frosting. These are super decadent, so, so good. And I'm also making myself a cup of decaf coffee. Um, and I'm gonna add a decadent amount of cream just to get my fat and calories up a little bit.